All we will also be covering some health and safety plans we have for resumption of operations. And then as Doug mentioned, we will also be getting into some webinar only special offers that we have. Um, first things first, because I know we do have a lot of new um, guests, new vantage guests with us on the call today. Um, a little bit about us. Um, Vantage was founded back in 1983 and is an American-owned global tour operator that we specialize in luxury small group tour experiences for the mature traveler. So the majority of our guests um, that you'll meet on our tours um, will be, you know, in the over 50 um, age demographic. However, um, from time to time, those, those um, guests, they bring their children or their grandchildren, um, depending on the itinerary. And we have itineraries that suit all ages and um, itineraries that um, suit everybody from um, adjoining cabins to triple and quad occupancy. So um, guests bringing their children and grandchildren is very popular for us. Where are we located? We are currently, we are operating on all continents around the world. And apart from our office here in Boston, we have our European headquarters in Budapest, Hungary. We have an office in Beijing, China, an office in Zagreb, Croatia. And then down the south, we have um, our office in Cape Town, South Africa. Um, and these are the locations of all of my team who help curate and put together all of the itineraries that you love to travel on, that you're here today to find out about, um, as well as operations uh, throughout the season. So in recent years, um, we have really been focused on um, travel for the solo traveler, um, be it a solo traveler, um, traveling without um, their partner, their husband, their wife, um, who doesn't want to travel with them, or maybe it's a, you're traveling, somebody traveling with their friends, another couple. Um, and we, we found a need for single cabins or solo cabins on all of our vessels to eliminate the need for people who are traveling by themselves uh, to be penalized by paying 200% to occupy a cabin or a room um, that should normally or would normally be occupied by two people. Um, so the Vantage fleet, we are pleased to announce, is the only fleet of vessels with carefully constructed solo cabins, meaning that we've eliminated single supplements on all of our owned ocean and river journeys. We also, on our land trips, have a limited number of free single supplements on each of our departures. So any of our itineraries that travel to Africa, South Africa, East Africa, Morocco, Australia, New Zealand, Italy, Ireland, uh, South America, all of our itineraries, there are a limited number of free single supplements on every single one of our departures. So we're very, very pleased with that. And such initiatives have garnered us uh, various awards over the years. Uh, 2019 saw us win the solo three, actually, solo traveler awards um, for being very, very solo friendly for, for our guests. And I think we value our guests' feedback. Um, and this was this was something that we took into consideration when we were building our, our current um, our ocean fleet that's under construction at the moment. Um, so this is this is a very important item for all of our our guests and all of our vessels um, throughout the fleet. Today we will be putting a spotlight on our new ocean vessels, our Ocean Explorer and the Ocean Odyssey, um, both of which will be coming online in the next year and a half. Um, we have spent a lot of time, my group and I, not only designing the ship. Um, carefully picking out uh, things like sheets and pillows and colors and artwork and everything in the interior of the ship, but also um, curating the itineraries that we uh, will be on offer on all of our ships. The beautiful thing about our vessels is the deployment 
traverses every single continent. So it goes all the way around the globe in one, one or other of the vessels. Over the next 18 months, you could conceivably visit every single continent in the US, everywhere from the South Pacific, Australia, New Zealand, up through Bali, um, up to Southeast Asia, Singapore, Thailand, Malaysia, across to India, Sri Lanka, the Middle East, um, up through the Suez Canal, across the, the Mediterranean, spending some time up in the British Isles and over to the Baltics, crossing the Atlantic, um, spending some time in the Great Lakes, um, New England and Canada, um, and then heading, heading south for the winter. Um, or the summer in the southern hemisphere to um, to visit Antarctica during the season of Antarctica. Um, so, as I mentioned, the itineraries that we cover on both of our vessels, it's a global deployment. We hit every single continent. In June of this year, we will be launching the Ocean Explorer and followed closely by the Ocean Odyssey, the sister ship, in March of 2022. We have custom designed these vessels. You will not see anything like them. And we have worked with um, various Scandinavian partners to um, design the interior. Um, a Finnish company um, have assisted us with designing the cabins. We have sleek um, interior decor done by um, a Swedish company, uh, beautifully outrigged, outfitted um, with all of our guests in mind. Um, these are polar class vessels, so it, it does enable them to go into the polar regions, either in the Arctic or the Antarctic area. We like to think of it as small ship ocean cruising at its finest. This um, set of ships have both only 77 cabins on each of them. That's a maximum capacity for us of 139 guests. Nice and small, no crowded areas. We have a landmark 15 solo cabins on each of that each of those ships. That's over a whopping 20% of the cabins um, are catered to the solo traveler. We have adjoining cabins on there. Uh, if you want to travel with your family or friends, you want to keep the door open in between so that you can have a bigger party space or a gathering space. Uh, we have family cabins. We have multiple dining options on the vessels. We have a full spa and a gym. We have jacuzzis. We have uh, an infinity pool on our top deck. And we have a very um, intensive green program that we're extremely proud of um, that really just focuses on the environment. A lot of focus on our recycling program where we reuse, reduce the emissions, reduce the trash, recycle. We have eliminated items such as single-use plastics on there. We're very focused on the cleaning and chemicals that we're using both for cleaning and laundry. A lot of items that um, are very important for the environment, as well as some specially uh, included features on our vessel, such as a virtual anchor, which means that the um, the ship can can use its GPS to uh, to uh, stabilize and also um, eliminate the need for anchors dropping onto ocean floors and potentially ruining coral and other underwater wildlife. While on board, we're pleased to uh, be able to offer our guests a spa and salon services. The spa will include um, a sauna, hot tubs, uh, massage treatments if somebody wants. Uh, we also will have a salon station. Um, ladies, if you'd like to get your hair done while you're on tour, on your journeys, um, your nails perhaps, all of those are available um, while on our vessel for a small fee. Um, while you are also on board, we have full use of our kayaks, paddle boards, snorkels, sets, and also we will have bicycles on board for any excursions that you wish to take. You can also relax after a fun day of sightseeing, swimming in the infinity pool, or one of our two jacuzzis. We have two on there side by side at the swimming pool, 
Um, you can only see one in the frame right now, but there is there is um, another one on the other side of the vessel. And we have included excursions in every single port that we're traveling to. Um, so you can either avail of those included excursions or you can go off and use the free time by yourself or simply relax on board um, while the rest of the guests have, have uh, left the ship for uh, visits in port. During your sailing, you may want to treat yourself and live it up in one of our suites. Um, with all of our suites, we have 10 suites on board both of the river, uh, both of the ocean vessels. We have on our river boats, depending on the vessel, um, one owner suite and a number of deluxe suite cabins. We include business class with our suite reservations. You are um, included is your private airport transfers. We have a welcome bottle of champagne in your cabin, a fully stocked mini bar. You're eligible for some priority reservations for the spa. And also you do receive complimentary laundry service, which is also quite helpful depending on how long you are sailing and on your voyages around the world on the vessel. A lot of cabin categories and a lot of our guests have asked for um, prior to prior to today's webinar some information on the various cabin categories that we have offerings. Over 80% of the cabins on our ocean vessels are included with private verandas. A full veranda where you can sit outside, lounge, sun, uh, watch the world go by, um, or just simply have your morning coffee out there. Uh, we have 11 categories of cabins to choose from, including two solo cabin types, one with a full veranda, and one for the more budget conscience, which has a portal window, no full veranda. Our passenger decks are spread over four. Um, our cabins are spread over four passenger decks. We have 10 different suites, uh, six different categories of suites, but 10 suites in total. I mentioned our triple occupancy and adjoining cabins. And we also have solo friendly options available in the other categories of cabins. So even if we are sold out of the solo um, uh, studio state rooms or the studio balcony state rooms, we do offer some solo friendly options, uh, discounted rates for a single person traveling in a double occupancy cabin. So that's, that is also important to keep in mind. It's always good to check with your uh, travel counselor when you are making your reservation. On our vessels as well this year, we are delighted to have a multitude of dining options available. Uh, for many of you, if you have cruised with us before on either our river vessels, um, our own river vessels or perhaps even partner uh, vessels that we have chartered or used in the past. Um, on our river boats, we have two dining areas. We have our main dining area and our captain's club towards the rear of the vessel. However, on the Ocean Explorer and Odyssey, we have our main dining room, which we're looking at here on the very top. We have our hot rock dining area, which is um, on the top deck of the vessel overlooking the infinity pool there is an indoor section and an outdoor section where the food is cooked right there in front of you um, kind of a hibachi station um, we also have a specialty dining area which is located on deck five it's a private room um, that's located off the main dining room. So for those of you who like to travel um, in a large group or with a group of friends, perhaps a church group, a family gathering, um, that enables you guys to um, sit somewhat separately from the rest of the dining area. And each of the dining areas offers different uh, seating options. So larger tables, we can put the tables together or we have uh, many, many um, tables just for two. Um, if you want to uh, enjoy a romantic dinner or a private dinner maybe um, with our cruise directors or concierge or, or just your loved ones. Um, so we have a lot of options available um, for dining, which we're very pleased about. On our 
our vessels as well, we will be offering three types of itineraries. The most of our itineraries will fall under our cultural discovery um, branding. We have some light expedition itineraries and we have expedition itineraries for the more adventurous travelers. Um, as we proceed through um, the itineraries, I will go into a little bit more detail on what's entailed and um, so as not to put you off traveling um, on any of these itineraries. So the first itinerary I will focus on today was one of our most popular itineraries on the Ocean Explorer, one of the first itineraries that sold out for 2021. Um, so we have decided to put uh, two sailings next year uh, in 2022 on the Odyssey. It's our Eastern Mediterranean crossing, the Holy Land, the Greek Islands, Cyprus, Turkey, Egypt, and the Suez Canal. We have two, two departures only on this itinerary, which are already very popular, very, um, a lot of guests already booked. We have a maximum of 139 travelers. Um, these itineraries on the cultural discovery will have a cruise director and a concierge available to um, assist you with anything. Um, help you with, with uh, ideas for things to do in your spare time while on shore, um, help you getting taxis and everything else, navigating the local language, um, et cetera, et cetera. This itinerary is 17 days long or 16 nights and includes some of the highlights such as the UNESCO site of Petra, the bone white houses of Santorini, everybody knows those white houses with the blue roofs, um, and also a lot of sailing within the Aegean Sea within the Greek islands. So this is a personal favorite of mine, and I'm looking forward to traveling on this itinerary in the fall of 2022. We have also a beautiful itinerary in Northern Europe that visits the Baltic capitals or the jewels of Scandinavia and St. Petersburg. We have an itinerary that operates from Copenhagen to Stockholm or vice versa. Again, a cultural discovery itinerary with our cruise director or concierge. It's a 14 night itinerary with 23 included features. We do have some limited space available still for uh, 2023. Uh, I'm sorry, for 2021, um, but in 2022, we also have two sailings available um, during the summer of 2022. Some highlights that you would visit on there, the magical island port of Visby, a visit to Tallinn, uh, which not a lot of people get to visit that. And also you can tour the Hermitage Museum while in St. Petersburg. Um, this is a perfect opportunity to visit Russia without going through the red tape of uh, visa requirements and so on for Russia. Traveling on this itinerary is a special type of a visa that can be done on board, um, does not require the, the lengthy process of going to Russia in general um, overnight or on a longer excursion requires. Moving back across the ocean to Southeast Asia, we have a wonderful itinerary, which is really the start of our inaugural season on the Ocean Odyssey. This itinerary, the East Asia, Malaysia, Sri Lanka, and beyond. My, one of my favorite, favorite places to visit in the world is Malaysia. You don't hear a lot of people um, ooing and eyeing about Malaysia, but I absolutely love this itinerary. Um, the inaugural sailing will depart from Singapore on the 28th of March. And again, this is a very popular sailing being our inaugural sailing. There's a lot of uh, special features on that first sailing, but we do have another sailing on the itinerary um, later in the year on December 10th. This itinerary hits five different countries with the opportunity to visit um, both the Taj Mahal and Agra. Um, at the end as a post extension, Delhi, Agra, the Taj Mahal, or as a pre extension to Siem Reap, the wonderful temples of Angkor Wat in Cambodia. This is a beautiful, beautiful itinerary. You get to spend overnight um, off the ship in Sri Lanka on a little magical adventure. 
um, visiting a lot of places with elephants and other wildlife. You visit some beautiful islands off Thailand, um, Phuket, absolutely beautiful. And then back to uh, Singapore, to the big city to visit, um, transfer around the city on a traditional rickshaw. This is an itinerary that I worked on with my um, team uh, this past uh, winter. Uh, not this winter just gone, the winter before COVID. Um, and we spent a lot of time in Thailand um, planning out this itinerary and seeing what would be spectacular for our guests. And I really, really hope that this is an itinerary for those of you who, who do take this itinerary. I really hope that you enjoy it because we, as with all of our itineraries, we put a lot of thought and effort into planning and including a lot of features that we think you would enjoy. Moving back across to Europe again, um, our itinerary for the British Isles, the beauty of the British Isles has been a very popular itinerary for us um, over the last few years. And we're pleased to be operating this itinerary now on our own vessels. Um, 2021, we will operate this on the Ocean Explorer. And in 2022, we will operate this itinerary on the Ocean Odyssey. In 2022, you would have the opportunity to either extend your journey to um, the Republic of Ireland to visit Dublin, my hometown, or you would have the opportunity to add on the fabulous Oberammergau extension, the passion play that's performed in that small little village in Germany. Normally happens every 10 years, however, Unfortunately, due to COVID, uh, this itinerary or this Oberammergau passion play was moved from 2020 to 2022. This British Isles itinerary also happens to fall over the, ma the marvelous Tattoo Military Festival, which takes place in Edinburgh every August as well. Some of the highlights of this trip, you visit the Inner Hebrides and the Isle of Mull with the fabulous uh, animals there. You will get to sample whiskies and whiskey. So understanding the difference between a Scotch whiskey and an Irish whiskey. And you can also discover the historic role the Orkney Islands play, played in World War II. So a lot of small little islands off the coast of um, Britain um, that our ship, because it's so small, will be able to get into all of these tiny little ports um, and will en enable you to see smaller um, ports and towns that the other larger ocean going vessels um, would not even enable you to visit. So this is a another exciting itinerary. Then moving back across the ocean here to Boston, to our hometown. Um, before our vessel heads south for the winter, uh, we will be sailing from Boston all the way down to Nassau in the Bahamas. We'll be visiting uh, such places as Martha's Vineyard, uh, Newport, Rhode Island, New York City, Williamsburg, Wilmington, Charleston, uh, Amelia Island, before heading out across the ocean to for the short skip over to Nassau. Again, this is a cultural discovery itinerary, not a lot of um, heavy activity, perfectly relaxing itinerary as you head south as it gets colder up here in the Northeast. Um, I'll be excited to head south for the winter myself. Um, 20 included features, including six cultural discoveries on this itinerary. A full tour director and cruise director with you at all times. Um, throughout this journey. Charming Martha's Vineyard, all of the lighthouses and other beaches around there, places like where Jaws was filmed, a lot of excitement. Um, historical Newport mansions, the Vanderbilt, the Breakers, all of these places in, in Newport, Rhode Island um, that everybody just loves to see. You can explore colonial roots in Williamsburg and Jamestown. And then heading south further to historic Wilmington. So a nice cultural itinerary, visiting a lot of colonial sites along the way. Um, maybe for the history fan, this would be a, a perfect opportunity to, to relax and enjoy some fall cruising as you head south 
Um, this will just have one itinerary in 2021. However, in 2022, due to popular demand, we will have the itinerary operating in the opposite direction as well and heading north from the Bahamas back up to Boston. And moving north again, um, we will be delighted to have our itinerary in the Great Lakes and waterfront from Chicago to Toronto in 2022. This is an itinerary we call our light expedition itinerary. It's a little more active than uh, the typical cruising down in the oceans and so on. Um, the vessel may or may not, depending on the port, you may need to um, use our tenders to get from the ship into the smaller ports. It's a 14-day, 13-night itinerary with a whopping 21 included features. We do have limited availability still in 2022. Um, we are more than half full already for 2022. This itinerary visits all of the Great Lakes, sails to all of them, visits to Niagara Falls, Mackinac Island, all the beautiful things. If you want to stay a little bit closer to home um, as you get back into to the habit of traveling again, um, this would be the perfect itinerary for, for the, the cautious traveler, cautious but eager traveler. As we move forward, um, to our expedition itineraries. Um, these are itineraries for the more adventurous traveler. Um, these itineraries include a 19-member expedition team. Uh, we have a lecture series throughout the cruises. A lot of the excursions are operated on Zodiac. So this, uh, for those who are unsure what a Zodiac is, down um, there in the bottom, uh, looks almost like an inflatable dinghy um, or a Coast Guard vessel um, that bops up and down in the water. Um, so it's, it's very stable, but um, climbing in and out of the Zodiac, um, you may encounter a wet landing. So what a wet landing is, the, the Zodiac just pulls up to the beach and you may or may not get your feet wet as you jump out to run up the beach to um, the locations where, where uh, we're visiting. Um, Zodiac excursions do allow us to get up much, much closer to the wildlife um, than you would from um, the inside of the ship or on the deck of the ship. Um, the, the Zodiacs can pause in the water, turn off the engines, and as you can see, this, this picture just demonstrates perfectly um, all of the seals next to the vessel. So a lot of the expedition itineraries um, are in Arctic areas. So my personal favorite, and this is an itinerary in 2021, I will be um, joining our December 14th sailing uh, south to uh, South Georgia, the Falklands, and Antarctica. So this is an itinerary that most people just visit Antarctica when they go, that's it. Uh, this itinerary does visit all the way over to South Georgia Island and then Port Stanley in the Falklands on its way back um, to uh, Ushuaia. This itinerary is 24 days, Christmas in Antarctica. It's like a dream come true with all the snow, <laughs> 23 nights. You have 19 included features. Of those 23 nights or 24 days, we spend a full five days in Antarctica, um, visiting a lot of those um, ports. Um, ports would be confirmed a lot closer to departure, um, but this itinerary gives you the opportunity to visit South Georgia Island, sail through the Drake Passage, and also visit the Falkland Islands and, and understanding more about the history of the Falklands and the history between Argentina and Britain um, and just a really, really beautiful place to visit, um, particularly in the summertime down there. Another um, exciting addition to our itineraries for 2022 is an expedition deep into the Amazon encompassing Brazil, Colombia and Peru. Um, when people think of the Amazon River, I think, you know, for the most part, a lot of people just think about Brazil. 
Um, but this itinerary will be sailing all the way down through Brazil, from Manaus down through Leticia and Colombia, all the way down to Iquitos in Peru. Um, this itinerary, again, as it's an expedition, I'll have a maximum of 130 travelers. I'll have our expedition team. And this itinerary does give you the opportunity to extend your journey and visit Machu Picchu and the Sacred Valley. This was high, high on my list of bucket list trips when I started working here at Vantage Travel and I was pleased and delighted to be able to visit Machu Picchu a number of years ago um, with some, some of our Vantage guests. This itinerary visits a lot of Amazonian villages. You get to see a lot of rare wildlife. There are some pre-Incan ruins that we visit while we are um, traversing through the jungle. Um, we visit also uh, a monkey rehabilitation center, a monkey island is the name of it, um, a beautiful location where um, the people um, take care of injured or abandoned orphaned uh, monkeys and they live there and take care of them um, almost in the wild. They're, they're somewhat tame, but uh, it's a wonderful experience to, to visit that while you are on uh, this adventure. Another cold itinerary, perhaps, um, the majestic north, Greenland and Iceland. Again, another um, not very widely visited uh, Greenland. Um, Iceland is very popular with our guests. This itinerary includes um, a lot of travel around Greenland as well. We only have two voyages available. It's a 19-day itinerary, 18 nights, sails from Reykjavik over to Greenland. And then the second voyage sails back from Greenland back to Iceland. Uh, we have a large 23 included features on this itinerary. Uh, it's pretty fun sailed. Again, a lot of wet landings, um, a lot of zodiac uh, excursions on here, visiting small little fjords and things like that. We have visits to the Golden Circle in Iceland, the waterfalls in Greenland, and the Venice of Greenland. A lot of animals, these are one of the regions that um, you will see some wildlife that is only available or only lives in the green, in the waters of Greenland and Iceland. So a very, very exciting itinerary for those uh, animal lovers or wildlife lovers amongst us. So perhaps you have seen a bunch of these itineraries and you said, oh, I cannot choose between one or the other itinerary. If you have the time to spare, you can always do more on one of our combination journeys. So the benefits of traveling on one of our combination trips, you get to just fly once, fly there, and fly home from the second trip. The uh, complimentary coach air, you get to sail, you unpack once, and you pack back up again at the end of your combination trip. Uh, you, it's easy. Um, you have additional savings off your price of your itinerary. A lot of our cabin categories have free air upgrades, and it does allow you to have a lot more for, uh, leisure time. So if these are something that, um, these are itineraries that appeal to you, um, any of your uh, travel counselors would be glad to go over them with you. A lot of them are available on our website. Um, as we start to our planning process for 2023, we have a lot of exciting things coming up there. But last but by no means least, a lot of you have asked uh, for us to bring back our president's trips. Um, in the past, we have done very special um, limited edition president's trips um, in various destinations around the world. And today, um, you, our guests on today's webinar, uh, will be the first to find out that our president's trip for 2022 will be on the pearls of Greece and the Dalmatian coast on May 29th of 2022. We are limiting capacity on this itinerary to 139 guests. 
the itinerary traveled from Greece through up through the Dalmatian coast of Croatia, visiting Montenegro and finishing in Trieste, Italy, with some optional extensions to Istanbul, Turkey, or Lake Bled in Slovenia, a beautiful, beautiful part of the world. Um, this itinerary, because you're getting a preview today, will be open for sale um, on the 10th of March, so just a couple of weeks away. However, um, if you are interested in uh, making a reservation um, or finding out more on this itinerary, you can, of course, uh, reserve your spot by making a pending reservation for this itinerary in 2022. Um, we will have some special guests from our Boston office um, traveling on this itinerary, too. So I'm very excited, and I have my fingers crossed that I, I will be able to attend for the entire itinerary. Um, we have some special President's Trip Gala inclusions. We have some tailored local entertainment. We'll be visiting the Kirka Waterfalls National Park, taking a beautiful private catamaran excursion in Sibenik. We will share gala cocktails overlooking the Split Riva, the beautiful area of Split where everything happens. And our beautiful gala dinner will take place in the Diocletian Palace um, in Croatia. And finishing the itinerary, we will have a specially cultured um, Greek street party to finish off the itinerary and to finish off the journey uh, for our president's trip in 2022. I mentioned some optional extensions available. Istanbul, Turkey, an extra three nights um, onto your itinerary, featuring six included features. Uh, cultural discoveries, visits to the Grand Bazaar, the Spice Bazaar, the Hagia Sophia, the mosque, a beautiful, beautiful uh, hotel overlooking the Bosphorus Strait, where you can see Europe and Asia, the one place. Um, or perhaps you'd like to take it a little bit easier um, on an extension to Lake Bled in Slovenia. You can have three extra nights in Slovenia. Five included features, including visits to Lake Blad Castle, tours of Lake Bohin, and Kranska Gora. So beautiful, beautiful parts um, of Slovenia as well that will be visited on our optional extension. Again, also available to a limited number of guests uh, within the 139 that will take um, this trip. So I would love to see you all there, or some of you anyway. Um, I personally am really looking forward to getting back on the road, getting out and meeting our guests. Um, normally I, I am out of the office and on the road and meeting many of you. I may have met many of you before on some of our trips, and I'm just itching to get back um, to get back out there and see the world and visit all the places that I have missed for these last few months. I miss chatting with each of you. I miss chatting about your travels. I miss hearing about your experiences and what you do and don't um, like about our itineraries. I love to hear from you. Um, and I have a newsletter that goes out. Uh, I love to hear your feedback. Um, I love to hear where you would like to see us um, planning itineraries to next. We are in the beginning phases of our um, planning for 2023, which is one of the most enjoyable parts of my um, my job here. Um, I don't even consider it a job because I enjoy it so much. Um, so some new and exciting itineraries and destinations we have coming in 2023 as well. Um, a circumnavigation of Ireland. Um, this is an exciting itinerary for me um, for uh, Ireland is my home country and Dublin's my hometown, so I'm very pleased to uh, have a special trip there in 2023. We will have some new exciting itineraries traveling um, around the Mediterranean, um, visiting from Rome, Malta, Corsica, Sicily, Sardinia, all the way across to um, the Balearic Islands to Menorca before finishing in Barcelona. A lot of itineraries, um, adding some features. And like I said, we, we like to listen to the feedback from our guests. What did you appreciate? What did you not enjoy? So keep the feedback coming. 
Um, I love to hear it. Um, so that's it for itinerary talk today. Now on to the more serious stuff. Um, while I am enjoying um, the break from traveling, um, I have been spending a lot of time working on our health and safety plan for resumption of operations. So many of you have asked, be it uh, via email or in your survey prior to joining our webinar today, um, what can I expect when, when Vantage returns to operations? Will I have to wear a mask everywhere? Will I have to be vaccinated? Um, some of our some of um, the other companies in the travel industry, in the field, uh, in the same market that we, we also offer um, excursions, you, you'll see a lot of information coming out about them vaccinating their crew and their passengers and everything else. Um, so we are still working through um, some of these items, but some highlights that you can expect um, in the coming months as we get ready to resume operations. Vantage will ask you to fill out an online health questionnaire prior to your departure. It's only going to take a few minutes and will essentially verify your wellness prior to your departure. This is the same type of a questionnaire that you would, you know, answer when you're going to the doctor's office or to uh, any place of business right now. Have you left your state? Have you had a, had a flu? Have you had a cough? all of these questions just to ensure that um, everybody is healthy and well enough to travel on your departure. As you travel en route to your destination, the majority of our guests, 99% of our guests, will be traveling by airplane to get to um, each of our trips. Um, we partner with all the major airline carriers to ensure they are following all health and safety pro protocols. Um, so recently, the Center for Disease Control has asked that um, guests wear masks while they are flying um, on any of the airlines. So this is, this is one of the requirements that we would um, be keeping up to date with each of our airline partners. As all of you know, included with your Vantage Flight Choice Air Reservations are your transfers to and from the airport to your first hotel or ship on tour. Going forward, you're going to travel in smaller groups on well-sanitized buses, coaches, um, or vehicles to get to and from the airport to your destination. Smaller groups being the very important piece on there. Um, on embarkation at your vessel, uh, for your comfort and safety, we will be staggering the embarkations at our vessels. So this will eliminate crowded check-in areas or waiting for long, long periods, um, possibly outside the ship or in the lobby, um, staggering, our, staggering our arrivals of buses of people or departures from the airport to, to get to the ship. This will be for everybody's comfort, um, not just our guests, but also the crew. Prior to embarking, a crew member will again ask you some wellness check questions. If further testing is required, we are always, always close to appropriate medical facilities. Upon arrival at your vessel, your temperature will be checked with a non-touch thermometer and a quick um, COVID test will be completed. A swab, a saliva swab, very quick with responses within a few minutes. We will also be sanitizing luggage before delivery to your cabin. So it will be sprayed down outside the vessel um, before we get it delivered to your cabin um, upon arrival. While you are on board our vessels, um, at this point protocols continue to change. Uh, it's such a fluid situation, but at this time we request that you wear a face covering when traversing through the common spaces on the vessel. So obviously not in your cabin, um, but just when you are moving from your cabin to the dining room or your cabin to the gym, your cabin to the spa, um, we will not require it while you are uh, sitting at your table or eating in the dining room just when you're moving through the vessel. We'll have plenty of hand sanitizer, uh, gloves available throughout the ships, and we would encourage the frequent use of the sanitizer uh, available. 
You'll notice more frequent cleaning by crews throughout your journeys. And we will also have a doctor on board our European river boats and owned uh, ocean vessels for frequent testing um, throughout the voyages. We do on the ocean vessels have a small little doctor's office um, and the uh, doctor on board will be there available um, to help us with the testing of our guests. Um, and of course, if, if you um, have any ailments that need to be uh, checked or tested while you're traveling, and then new, uh, once we resume operations now in a few more months, uh, we will have a doctor on board our own river boats as well, doing the exact same thing. Um, capacity on our vessels will be greatly reduced. Social distancing and dining areas, you will notice it. Because we have less capacity, the tables will be further apart. So there'll be uh, a little bit more space in between tables. <coughs> the items usually that are shared, uh, butter patties, bread rolls, jams, jellies, things like that, will now be served individually to each guest. So no more buffets, unfortunately, um, but anything that um, you were having on any menus uh, previously will all still be available um, to you. They will just be served to you directly um, instead of waiting in line at a buffet area. What's going to happen our crew while on board? Prior to embarkation, all of our crew will either be vaccinated or will provide us with a negative COVID test result. The crew will also be undergoing daily wellness checks and health screenings throughout the sailings, quarantining immediately if they show any symptoms whatsoever of being um, ill, fevers, coughs, colds, anything like that. And their crew meals will no longer be self-service. Um, they will all be served directly as well in line with um, the measures we're taking in the dining areas of the vessels. This is really important. Um, as the vaccinations roll out in other parts of the world. Um, our hope is that um, they will all be vaccinated, but it will not be <laughs> probably possible for everybody to be vaccinated. So we will be um, enforcing strict negative COVID testing uh, for, for our crew on owned rivers and uh, owned uh, ocean vessels throughout the season. What happens when you go on shore excursions? While the regulations advantage will be following um, while on board our ship, once you embark the ship or disembark the ship and take a shore excursion or visit any ports or towns, Vantage does have to follow all local and state guidelines, which include social distancing, wearing of facial coverings, etc. While we will be able to sanitize all of the coaches and buses, um, Seating in the coaches, um, in some cases, seating rows of seating have been removed to allow more space in between the seats. However, in some cases, just empty seats will be left. So very similar to what you see here in the US at home, um, going to restaurants or anywhere like that, seats will be blocked off. And then again, as upon return to your vessel, um, your temperature will be again checked as a precaution against any uh, ailments or temperatures or issues while you are um, off the ship. And finally, um, before your return home safely, um, effective just a couple of weeks ago, the Center for Disease Control um, and Prevention, or the CDC, issued a mandate that they're going to require all air passengers entering the U.S., including U.S. citizens, and legal permanent residents need to provide a negative COVID test taken within three calendar days of departure or proof of recovery from the virus within the last 90 days. The airlines will be the, the people mandating this also because they will, they will uh, suffer fees, they will incur fees from the government if they do not um, confirm that the guests have negative test results or proof of recovery. Um, and they are required by law now to deny boarding of passengers who don't provide this information. Our onboard doctors will be able to facilitate this requirement by testing and providing you with your documentation prior to returning home safely. So 
So hopefully I have answered many of your questions today on our resumption of operations, how we are uh, resuming safely, what, uh, what precautions are we taking, um, in addition to, of course, hearing about all of our wonderful itineraries that we um, will be offering later this year when we resume again in 2022 and maybe possibly just a, a tidbit for 2023. Um, and as always, feel free to um, submit any questions or items that we uh, did not cover on my portion of today's webinar be more than happy to answer them for you. Um, thank you, Doug. Um, let me know if, uh, if you have any questions. Thank you. Absolutely tremendous. And Deirdre, thank you so, so much. We are certainly very, very grateful of your time here, and uh, we do greatly appreciate your presentation. Uh, it's now, a pleasure, I know, Doug. Thank you. Th thank you so, so much here, Deirdre. Now, folks, I do know that we are nearing the top of the hour. And certainly tomorrow, I will be sending out a personal email uh, to each and every one of you who have attended today, going over some of the specific offers that are attached with this webinar, uh, as well as providing a little bit more co uh, some contact details for our groups department, our sales department, as well as our referral specialists. Uh, but I do want to take this opportunity just to briefly go over some of the current promotions, as well as some of the webinar exclusive offers that we have here for you today. Now, what we have, uh, as far as our current promotions, uh, we do have free economy air for or discounted upgraded air available on those select journey departures, free single supplements on every single journey, and those Ocean Explorer and Ocean Odyssey tours that Deirdre had mentioned here, we do have those solo-only cabins spread across two different cabin categories, which is absolutely remarkable. Two-for-one deposits on most Vantage journeys, Reserving your journeys for as little as $250 per person. In addition, we do as well have our complimentary onboard credits of $250 per person. Now, some of the additional uh, promotional materials that have come out as of late um, is going to be our enhanced refer and earn rewards. Uh, we are very, very excited to be rolling this out here for all 2021 new referrals. All 2021, you can triple your referral credits on any of the 2021 departures when they do go ahead and make that booking uh, here with us for 2021 departures. Same offer is going to apply for 2022. It will be a double referral credit, double your referral credits this limited time here through March 10th. Last but not least, our book with confidence policy. I'm very happy and excited to be presenting to you today. We are going to be extending that here through March 10th here. That is going to give you the ability to change your departure or change your trip date at any point in time up to 30 days prior to departure. Some of the exclusive webinar rewards uh, that we are very excited, exclusive to all attendees and all family and friends who reserve by March 10th, utilizing the promotional code D is in Delta, C is in Charlie, 0020 is as follows. $300 per person off of any new reservation on an Ocean Explorer or Ocean Odyssey journey. $200 per person off of any new reservation on any river's journey. And $200 per person off of any new reservation for any of our land itineraries. This is for 21 and 22, of course, as Deirdre was alluding to for that President's Club, um, you know, uh, that, that President's trip there for 2022. Of course, the best way to lock in that spot is by, uh, by going ahead and reserving that pending reservation. Once again, that promotional code is D is in Delta, C is in Charlie, 0020 applicable for all attendees, as well as any family and friends who reserve by March 10th. Now, one lucky attendee here today will be winning $1,000 in future travel credit tomorrow, along with that email that I will be providing with some of those contact points, uh, as well as going back over those, offer, uh, those offers that I just mentioned. 
we'll have a brief survey in there. All you need to do is just complete that brief survey and you will go ahead and be automatically entered to win the travel credit sweepstakes for $1,000 in future travel credit. Last but not least, folks, contacting us, we our sales team, 9 a.m. through 8 p.m., Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Saturdays. All of our employees are more than, uh, more than willing and able to go ahead and take the call, whether that be for our sales department, a referral specialist, as well as our group's team. Once again, folks, any type of questions, comments, feedback, please uh, feel free uh, to reach me directly at dmorganadvantagetravel.com. Certainly be more than happy to assist however I possibly can. I would like to thank each and every single one of you for taking the time out, spend some quality time, go over these very new exciting itineraries. Thank you all so, so much. Have a fantastic day.